Okay, now we're going to go through threshold. What you want to do with the threshold is you want to put your probe connections together. See how I have them clamped together? It's basically shorted. It's a dead short between probe one and two. Here. Probe one and two shorted. Now, when you do a test to, to energize it, you want to look at your data window and see what your data is doing. I'm going to hit this button, polarity button, on the logger to make sure. Now you see how high that is? You don't want to, if, if you press your button like this, if you press your button and you go up to adjust your threshold and nothing changes, it never does get, it never does get lower than, let's see, three something, then that position, this, this polarity position button's in the wrong position. Press it to the other position. And then readjust your threshold until you see your value get lower. You see it getting lower now? You want to set it about 50 or so. Up in that area. Okay, once you get that set, release the button. This stays here now. That's how you set threshold. You only set threshold once. You don't fool with it no more. Now this is set, this position switch is set. Don't touch them anymore. Now we're going to go on to um, using the scaled feature of the um, ground resistivity unit, the GCG, which what I have here is a probe here. I'm going to remove the wire that I have connected together and I'm going to put it on the probe over here. Now, this probe is about 12 foot, 10, 12 foot away from the other probe. And I'm going to take a sample to see what my background value is on the logger. I'm in the normal mode. I'm, I'm done with the threshold. Don't fool the threshold no more. Okay, let's see what this value is here when I, when I energize the probes. Okay, 53, 54. It's not that much different. But this is what we're doing. We want to set the background value. So now I'm going to move this probe in a circular, same distance, around this other probe in about five or six places just to get a background reading. Okay, so I'm going in a circular direction, just sticking the probe in the ground, I'm going to walk back, there's the other probe here, I'm walking back, and now I'm going to energize again and see if my readings change much. Let's wait till it settles down, still 53, 54. Okay, my reading hasn't changed, that tells me this, that tells me that I'm not over anything for sure. And now, I'm going to move it again. I want to get at least four or five samples to make sure the background reading of this soil is consistent. Same distance from the other probe. Because when I switch to scale mode on this GCG unit, the microprocessor in here is going to sample that value and anything above and below that, just like the software that's used on the um, the ProLogger when you download into it, it's going to basically act like that. The software is going to look at anything above and below. So it's actually taking a background sample of your soil. No other two box, two box, no other uh, two probe unit does this. Okay, let's see what we got. We'll zoom in again just to see what we got. Settling down, same value. So we can basically say, even if, I'll tell you what, we'll move it one more time, just to make sure. Because you want to get a number of, of uh, samples. 
this time I'm going to move it all the way over here. I need to reconnect my wire because it just popped off. Okay, I'll move it over here. Okay, got my wire back, same distance. And now we're going to take another sample and see what our value is. Zoom down. Oops, a little close here. Okay, it's still 54. Since it's that value and we know it's that value, while you're holding this down, flip the switch to scaled and then release it. Okay, scale mode is set. So now the processor says anything above or below that it's going to record. Now you're going to get a higher value now in this mode. Well, I'll show you. When you go down, see now it's a little higher. It's 78, 73, up in that area. That's okay. It's set for this ground right here. So now I'm going to move the probe to the first position on the grid and we'll start our logging. Okay, we've already set our um, mode switch. We did our scaling. Now we're going to go ahead and set up the grid. Okay. I press menu button it says create new grid. Yes. So we got, well, that's what we want to do, so we're going to select that. It says are you sure? Yes. Site 1 created. File 1 created. Now this is where we set our samples. So I have a, a four yards by four yards, so I want to take two samples per um, yard, so I'm going to double that. We're going to go to eight by eight, so we're going to go up to eight, and up to eight on X. Okay, I'm in manual. Everything is set and ready to go. I'm going to take my first sample, I'm going to put my probe at the first position, take my first sample. Okay, for sake of time, I have my probe at the first position you can see there. And that's four yards across. I'm going to move every 18 inches. I'm going to go ahead and do that whole first row. And when I get to the end of that first row, I'm going to move over, down 18 inches, and come back. Okay, I've went down first row, moved over 18 inches, come down the next row. I'm on um, X2. On the last one, you hear the two beeps at the end of this row when I take this sample. Let the data settle down. There's a two beep showing that I'm X3. Now I need to move over 18 inches and then go back the other way again. Okay, I'm on my last sample, last corner of the grid, and I'm going to charge it up, sample it, let it settle down. Grid complete. Okay, once you uh, have your grid complete, it shows you site one, file one, and um, size grid you just did and now we're going to take the cord out it says warning no SD cord you can just turn it off and we're going to see what the grid looks like here is the plot from the grid we just did you can see a septic tank in a two dimension and a slightly three dimension with raised edges and that's it